Hi, it's June 16th, uh, 2016, uh, Thursday. It's, uh, yeah, 9.20 p.m. London time. The uh, U.S. Uh, markets uh, shot 20 minutes ago. The Dow finished 93 points higher. Uh, we were intraday down about 162. So it's been quite a topsy-turvy day. And uh, it's almost like the market is forgotten about uh, Yellen yesterday and the fact that the Fed left rates unchanged, unchanged became very, uh, how can I say, dovish and seems to be losing a lot of credibility. Even uh, Yellen yesterday said that they're very uncertain uh, about where or quite uncertain about where rates are going. And... Uh, this morning, uh, gold broke out uh, above 1303, which was this year's high. We got up to 1315. The pound was, you know, in free fall. Even the euro was weak, but the dollar was weak against the yen. And then all of a sudden we get news that uh, this MP, uh, Joe Cox, a uh, labor MP in the UK, was uh, murdered by a... Um, mentally ill assailant and with the brexit uh campaign or the eu referendum campaign uh in full uh swing at the moment with one week to go it looks like it might be delayed the brexit vote or the referendum uh which is supposed to be held in a week's time on june 23rd that was the rumor in the markets. And when that rumor came out, everything turned around. Gold started going down. The pound rebounded strongly from around 140 to 142. The stock market just started going up. And, you know, we finished up 93 in the Dow. And uh, gold continued to trade lower after the COMEX closed when it's uh, thinner. And uh, I'm sure, you know, the powers that be took advantage of that to drive gold lower. And we're now at 1280 after being at 1315. But in my opinion, this is just noise. It's an unfortunate event uh, for this MP and her family, of course. Uh, it's just crazy. Uh, but... It doesn't change anything in terms of fundamentals and a Fed policy. This is just like a noise, in my opinion. So, yeah, it's disappointing for uh, precious metals investors uh, that are, you know, short term it is, but longer term, nothing's changed. That's what I'm saying. And the, and the stock market else as well, nothing has changed. And uh, there's a very interesting uh, article as well on uh, Zero Hedge. And it says uh, tonight, when was the last time the German 10-year bond yields went negative? And believe it or not, it was back uh, in the period preceding the Weimar hyperinflation of 1923. So between 1922-23, in Germany, that was the last time the German Bund or the German uh, government bond yield went negative. And we're still at uh, negative 0.03% in the German 10-year Bund at the moment. So maybe that's what uh, Bill Gross is talking about. A, a bond supernova is, uh, you know, the hyperinflation that we get from this uncertainty and negative uh, yields. It's just uh, crazy. So I think, you know, maybe the market was a little bit uh, over exuberant this morning in terms of risk off, you know, precious metals higher, stock market dumping, currencies very volatile. Then all of a sudden you get a, an, an event, uh, a black swan event like the murder of this uh, MP and sentiment turns on the dime and then you get stops stop losses by speculators who are you know trading momentum and then it just uh, kind of uh, snowballs 
And that's why we had such a volatile day. But if you step back and uh, look at what happened yesterday at the Fed, the fact that Yellen doesn't know what she's doing or is given up on forecasting, according to Jeff Glundlosh, uh that I talked about in my pre previous video. So I don't think anything's changed. Um, so it's just going to get very choppy and uh, difficult markets, but uh, nothing's changed. I think uh, central banks are kind of cornered, very cornered. They're losing credibility. And um, yeah, I think the trends are going to continue. Uh, lower stock prices, higher precious metals prices, higher mining share prices. Uh, Bitcoin uh, actually has been immune to this uh, topsy-turviness. It's still up 10% today. It's up $70 at $761. I guess maybe it's not as easy uh, for the powers that be to kind of give Bitcoin a, coin a nudge, how, how they did, uh, you know, with the stock market and the currencies and precious metals. So yeah, that's what I had to have to say at the moment. Uh, I think this is just like noise and uh, nothing fundamentally has changed. Central, central banks are still uh, well cornered, in my opinion, and they've got no ammo left except to... Uh, print more money and that would you know especially the fed and they don't have much room to cut rates <laughs> they're almost uh, at zero already so if you enjoyed this video uh, please like share and subscribe thanks for watching take care bye